that. It's the flower and the bee. Flower and the bee. The flower and the bee. Okay. You're thinking the honey to the bee. I'm, thi I'm thinking. You're, I'm, you're thinking of I'm, that old song. I'm, by, uh, I'm thinking Billy of Billy Piper. Piper's old song. Yeah. Is um, that where you sent me your Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Let's let's try this again. The flower and the bee. Uh, this is a wine from Galicia, uh, and it is the Trixadura grape. Um, entirely biodynamic. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Biodynamic. Um, and. Uh, 13.5% alcohol, what else do you know about it? Uh, so as I said, it's from Galicia, yep. which is, you know, not Barcelona. <laughs> there have been many, many Manuel sort of impersonations this morning. Um, um, it's so basically, so they, they double pick the grapes, so they're very careful about choosing which grapes. They so pick them twice? You mean they do two harvests? Two, two, no, two sortings. Two sortings. So they sort they sort them at the uh, vineyard itself, and then they bring them back to sort them just right. to make sure they're getting the best grapes possible. Okay. Um, yeah, as you said, completely biodynamic principles. Um, yeah, it's, they allow it to free run, which means that, you know, obviously once you've crushed the grapes, the juice just sort of runs off, and that's what they use, and then they just take some of the must and use that as well. Okay. Packaging's important. I quite like it. It's it's really sort of a nice, simple style of, of packaging. They've done a lot of attention to detail, um, and obviously the the bee-like stripiness. Um, this is lovely. This is really fresh. It's clean. It's zingy. It's got delicious light citrusy elements to it. That final note right at the end when you when you drink it is just. <laughs> We're drinking this at room temperature, and it's beautiful. Chill, give that a little chill. Not, not. Don't make it cold, but make give it a little chill. That's yeah. gonna be awesome. Sunny summer day. day. You can really drink far too much of this. Um, <laughs> it's it's absolutely outstanding. And again, not something you realise thirty and a half percent. No, it really well integrated alcohol. The acid is beautiful. Long. It's clean. It's light. It's fresh. It's it's got. Lemon, I mean, there's just so much lemon there, um, but all sorts of different lemon. You're getting a sort of bitter lemon pith, then you're getting some sort of zingy, yeah. sort of rind element, and then you get this lovely uh, tartness from the from the yeah, juice. Yeah, it's really nice, because it, it it's actually quite a complex wine, in the sense that, you know, you're always getting these new mm -hmm. flavours each time you go back to it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's so simple, because it's just delicious, and you can sit there drinking it. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. Staggeringly, staggeringly, staggeringly good bottle of wine. I really, really like this. Uh, the flower and the bee. Not honey to the bee, <laughs> as we've been discussing. Um, go on YouTube, look up Billy Piper. Honey to the bee is a terrible song. Um, but, uh, but this is a brilliant wine. <laughs>